Please note the following law may no longer be canon. The Emperor of Mankind forever altered the course of the Imperium's destiny with the divine creation of his twenty sons, the Primarchs. Each child was a genetic marvel, playing the role of both hero and villain. They danced upon the stage of the grim darkness of the far future. Yet, amidst the shadows cast by these towering figures, there lingered a secret. The Primarchs, celebrated as the Emperor's chosen, were not his only children. Hidden away, veiled from the eyes of the Imperium, lay others. Forgotten echoes of a father's ambition, scattered across the cosmos like stardust. Long before the Imperium's dawn, the God Emperor walked amidst mere mortals, weaving through their mundane lives. Amongst the thrumming pulse of humanity, he ventured, delving into realms of primal urges and desire. Women, blessed yet cursed by the Emperor's touch, became vessels of creation, cradling within them the weight of destiny. Their hearts, aching with the ecstasy of union, knew the bitter sweetness of his departure, for no other could quench the massive void left in his wake. Thus he sowed seeds of life with these women, birthing progeny of flesh and blood, known as the Sensei. These offspring bore within them the essence of divinity, a blend of mortal fragility and celestial grace. Each of these lost sons bore the imprint of their creator, a reflection of the Emperor's legacy. Not every descendant bore the esteemed title of Sensei, but within their progeny and the generations that followed, lay dormant the potential to awaken their latent genes, bestowing upon them a legacy of immense strength and extraordinary abilities. The most conspicuous hallmark of the Sensei manifested as immortality, a timeless countenance that defied the ravages of time. Only sudden death could extinguish their life. Even when faced with mortal demise, their wounds could heal and mend with otherworldly swiftness, defying human comprehension. Their very existence, intricately intertwined with the genetic blueprint of the Emperor, shielded them from the corrupting influence of chaos, allowing them to navigate the tumultuous currents of the warp unscathed. Rooted in a tranquil equilibrium, their minds were sanctuaries devoid of hate or irrational wrath, exuding an aura of confidence. In fact, the ruinous powers were utterly invisible to them due to the Sensei's lack of those emotions the gods of chaos prey upon. This stoic demeanor echoed in the psychic realms where their powers resided. Mirroring the Emperor's own abilities, theirs could be unleashed without peril as they were unmarred by the influence of corruption or demons. Freed from the shackles of fear, their minds flowed seamlessly, drawing deep upon the cosmic energies of the warp, making them incredibly powerful psychers. The Sensei's abilities can be enhanced if they stay true to themselves, protecting the innocent and fighting against chaos. In time, they could gain favor with the Star Child, a shard of the Emperor's soul discarded amidst the clash with Horus Lupercal. It is a fragment of divine essence, its luminance a testament to the eternal struggle against darkness. Upon each Sensei, the Star Child bestows its blessing, the mark of the star, a sigil imbued with celestial power, this gift, akin to the boons bestowed upon champions of chaos by their malevolent deities, is a mantle of righteousness. It is a weapon forged from the virtues of humanity's essence. Among the array of bestowed powers, one mark shone with unparalleled brilliance, the Redeemer. It possesses the ability to transform even the most fervent servants of chaos into allies of the light. When a sensei bearing this mark vanquishes an adversary, sparing their life in an act of unparalleled mercy. A metamorphosis ensues. The defeated, once consumed by chaos, now stand awestruck by the grace bestowed upon them. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes of their former allegiance, they shed the shackles of darkness, reborn in the brilliance of the Star Child's radiance. All vestiges of corruption melt away, replaced by a dedication to their newfound cause the annihilation of their former master's dark designs. Should a sensei continue to tread the path of extreme virtue, the Star Child will call upon them to ascend mortal bounds. Through the ethereal veil of the warp, they are summoned, drawn into the embrace of their patron. Yet not all who embark upon this sacred odyssey are deemed ready to ascend. 
For those whose souls yet flicker with uncertainty, they are told of their relationship with the Emperor of Mankind before they are returned to the material realm. But for those who stand unwavering in their resolve, a choice unfurls before them. They may grasp the mantle of spiritual divinity, ascending to realms beyond mortal comprehension, becoming Sensei Master. At the behest of their own will, or the guiding hand of the Star Child, they may return to the mortal plane as emissaries of the Emperor's will. The Sensei were born unaware of their latent powers or ancestral lineage. Their childhood passed innocently, draped in the guise of an ordinary human. Yet as they ripened into their prime, a subtle awakening seized them. They sensed a profound alteration stirring within. Stronger they grew, swifter in movement, untouched by aging. A divergence from humanity's norm branded them, marking them as anomalies in human society. Thus, they embarked on a wandering journey, veiling their true nature amidst the throng of mortal beings. Desiring only anonymity, they yearned to shroud themselves in the cloak of normalcy. Alas, the currents of fate would not be so kind. Across history, the weight of suspicion bore down upon them, casting shadows upon their path. They were condemned as witches, as demons incarnate. The pyres of ignorance blazed bright with their persecution, the waters of prejudice swallowing their silent screams. Countless sensei met their demise upon a burning stake or in the suffocating depths of watery graves. Though despised by humans, their hearts beat with a relentless determination to defy oppression and champion the poor. Forming bands of adventurers, they forged bonds with humans, mutants and xenos alike, unified in their quest to stand against the tyrannies of both Chaos Powers and the Imperium. They were particularly fond of the Eldar Harlequin, and they even allowed the Sensei access to their Black Library. While they harbored no inherent hate towards the Imperium, they were steadfast foes of oppression in all its forms, earning them the fervent support of the populace. This support, however, came at a cost. Their resistance often dealt blows to the very defenses humanity erected against the encroaching darkness, drawing the ire of the Inquisition. Branded as outlaws, they were forced to lurk in the shadows, hunted like beasts by those sworn to uphold order. These bands of adventurers, their sanctuaries hidden in caverns or nestled deep within bustling cities, served as pillars of hope for the oppressed. From the depths of forests to the towering peaks of mountains, they led the charge against tyranny in the defiance of those who refused to bow to injustice. Some among them embraced the life of piracy, their vessels sailing the turbulent seas to steal from the rich and give to the poor. There are few named sensei throughout historical records. Among them, Lucifer Princip dared to challenge fate itself upon his home world of Genost. With a roar that shook the very foundations of existence, Lucifer ignited the flames of rebellion, casting defiance against the heavens and attracting the attention of the Inquisition. Legends also speak of the mysterious, indomitable Captain Eternal and the wandering Inquisitor. Both drifted through the cosmic sea, offering salvation to those stuck in the abyss of human suffering. However, there were those who strayed from the noble path, veering into shadowed realms where light refused to tread. They forsook the mantle of humanity's savior, instead embracing the allure of darkness, and they become known as the Grey Sensei. Unlike their kin who wielded their powers in defense of mankind, these renegades chose the path of exile, they surrendered their souls to the chaotic abyss, becoming twisted servants to the ruinous powers, embracing depravity and cruelty. These were the darkest of sensei, as despite their innate resistance to the taint of chaos, they willingly embraced its seductive influence, forsaking all semblance of righteousness. It was a choice born not of coercion, but of a perverse desire. Perhaps it was the bitter sting of rejection, the searing brand of ostracization that drove them to forsake the light. Through the ages, they wandered, scorned by human society for being different, until they finally succumbed to the siren call of the abyss, where the darkness offered a refuge from the relentless onslaught of human disdain. Other sensei end up being recruited by the Illuminati, a secret society dedicated to mankind's preservation. 
Members of the group must survive a demonic possession and successfully exercise it through sheer willpower before being allowed to join. Once bathed in the chilling darkness of chaos's dread, their minds entwined with the sinister essence of demons, they attained an intimate understanding of the abyss. Through this unholy union, they became impervious to temptation and corruption that plagued lesser souls. Thus fortified by their harrowing experience, they emerged as formidable agents in the war against the ruinous powers. Their immunity to chaos's influence rendered them potent weapons in the hands of the Illuminati. The Sensei, blessed with an innate resistance to chaos's taint, effortlessly surpassed the trials laid before them, and many ascended to join the ranks of the Illuminati. However, the Illuminati had nefarious reasons for recruiting the Sensei. Unbeknownst to them, they were lured into a perilous mission. The Illuminati's dark designs concealed a sinister quest to revitalize the fading vessel of the Emperor. They believed fervently that the life force of the Sensei held the key to rejuvenating the Emperor's withered form, a desperate bid to restore his former glory. In their betrayal, they intended to sacrifice the Sensei at the precise moment of the Emperor's demise. To this end, the Illuminati gathered the Sensei under the false pretense of the noble cause of fighting and participating in the final battle against Chaos. All Sensei, regardless of affiliation, were hunted by the Inquisition with extreme prejudice. No sanctuary existed, no haven secured from their relentless pursuit. To them, every Sensei bore the mark of Chaos, and the Inquisition considered them dangerous mutants. The Ordo Maleus, guardians against the encroaching darkness, declared them enemies of humanity, their judgment swift and merciless, driving the Sensei to near extinction. A bulk of the Sensei were annihilated on the world of Levilnor IV for worshipping the cult of the Star Child. Within the sanctum of the temple, worshippers bowed in devotion to the Emperor. They yearned for apotheosis, a sacred transformation that was rumoured to grant immortality and boundless dominion, bestowed by the Star Child's celestial grace. Even though the Inquisitors suspected that some of the self-proclaimed Senseis could in fact have been children of the Emperor, they rejected them for associating themselves with Xenos and mutants. The cult was eventually exterminated by the Salamander's Space Marines. Some Sensei were rumored to survive as they were not present on the planet during the massacre. Although it's not known where the remainder of the Sensei are, presently in the 41st millennium, or what their goals are. This concludes today's chapter from the archives. Please like and subscribe if you want more. Leave a comment on which chapter we should reveal from the archives next. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting the channel by purchasing Space Marine block figures. The link to the store is in the video description below.